Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a whole bunch of Born Pretty um, cat eye polishes. But these ones are not gel, they're actually like regular polish. So if you're not really into doing gels because they're a pain to take off, uh, these are like perfect. Because sometimes I want the cat eye um, design, but if I'm doing them on my natural nails, I don't feel like soaking it off. And then sometimes, you know, it's easier just to drill it off with your e-file, but you don't want to damage your natural nails doing it either all the time. So I was really happy that they came out with these. So I'm going to do each one. I'm going to do a swatch. And um, this is the hollow 3d magnet star river series river series and this one is frantic fire and this is how it looks it's also got that shift and then the cat eye effect so i painted the nails black on these little swatch things hair sticks just because you use a lot less polish and I think it stands out a little bit better. So here's how here's how that looks. It actually looks a little bit more red in person. Uh, now I'm just gonna go in with my magnet. And you can see the shift in the, um, here, I don't want the light right on it. Maybe it'll be better. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that was Frantic Fire. And these are by Born Pretty. And they're, how big are these? 6 ml. So they're 0 0.2 fluid ounces. So that's another reason it's good to put the black on. You're not wasting as much polish either on the base. So here's the number for that one. Next, I'm going to go in. Well, this one I haven't opened yet. I did open a couple of them just to... And then I did use the purple one on my nails, which I did so quickly. I was going to put tips on, but I had to take my son to the doctor just to check up. This one is fascinating. And let's see. Looks like this. Let me see. Is this the one I have on? I think this is the one I have on my nails right now. So as you can see, it's got like that purple and green. So I'm going to put it on here. Actually, when I bought these, I thought they were going to be quite bigger. I knew they were going to be rounded, but I don't know what I thought. They were just not what I expected. But they're perfect for this. I think this would be perfect for like a galaxy nail. Because <clears throat> it's got like all the speckles and the hollow spots for like the stars. And then you got the purple like galaxy shift okay so again this was fascinating and here is I don't know if I showed you I think I did but here's the serial number for it which I'll put the link down below I will be doing the... Uh, why do I keep grabbing that one? I will be doing a series of the other ones. I think it's the Aurora ones. Because these are the... What is it again? This is Chasing Girl. These are the... Star River series. So I'll be doing the Aurora ones. Which again, they're not going to be gels. They're just going to be regular polish. 
and there are cat eye too. I think the only difference is they are not um, hollow. And then you could buy those in a set where I had to buy these singly. So it is a little cheaper when you buy them in a set. So this is the green one. Oh. This time I'm going to use the circle spot, the circle uh, end. I don't know if that worked quite as good. You can still see it, but you know what? I'm going to go over it and I'm going to do it again with the, the other end. Yeah, I think it looks better that way. You could kind of see the line shifting. So that was. Uh, what was the name of this one? This one is Chasing Girl. And. So here's the serial number for this one. Just in case you want to screenshot it because you like just that one or they're sold out. Maybe you could find it somewhere else. I bought these ones. I don't know if they were from Amazon or AliExpress. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. So this one's called, I don't know. Let's see, Star of Ice Moon. And that's the serial number. And it's like, kind of like a green yellow again. Kind of reminds me of the one we just did a little bit. So here is. Okay, this one kind of has a little bit more of like a, I don't know, like a reddish brown color to it. Super pretty. Next, we are going to go in with see here. What is this one? This is Wisteria Lane. And here is the serial number for that. And again, this one looks kind of like a purple. Or at least in the bottle it did. I kind of does. I can't describe these colors very well. Let's see. Okay. Next, we're going to go in. We're going to go in with this one, kind of looks like it's like a greenish purple. And so it almost has like an aqua and a like purple, depending on how you look at it. So you could see the green line and then you kind of see the purple one there. Okay. <clears throat> so this one was called again Myriad Star. I don't know. But here's the serial number. 
I don't know why I can't say that right now. Next, I'm just going to open this one up really quick. Okay, this one is called Phoenix of Home. And it's kind of like green. Let me just throw that there for right now. Yeah, it comes off as green. So what it does is it kind of takes, you see the black around it, and the line is the color. And it shifts. So I really like that. Let's see if we could get it a little bit more like. So there we go. I just made it a little bit darker and I um, put the magnet on, put another coat on because I felt like you couldn't really see it at its full. And again, what was this one? Phoenix of Home. Don't remember if I had showed you that. So next, I have this plain silver one, and I forgot why I bought this one. I think there was polishes I bought that you had to put this underneath. I don't know. I don't know why I bought this one. There was a reason for it. Maybe this wasn't them. I don't know. This has like um, some little silver like sparkles in it. Here, let's um. So here's that one. Really pretty gray silver. Next, this ain't, uh, um, the next one I'm going to do is not a Born Pretty Polish. They have these all over in different brands, and I did buy a few different brands of this. Because I don't know if they're all going to look the same. And this one in the 15ml is actually sold out. But it's the Cat Eye Gel. Mish Charing Professional Nail UV LED. This one is a UV LED one. And, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Here. I, okay, so I had my nail in the lamp. But I just want to show you guys. Oh, I don't know why it is so thick right now. That is strange. wasn't like that. Okay. Let's see if I can. That one is like, oh my god, it's so pretty. Look at that. And I like it because you can like move it around and it doesn't dry super fast. So like, yeah. Depending on how you turn it. Oh my god, that one is so beautiful. Look at that. You guys, oh my god, I love this one. So, definitely my favorite one. And it's just like, I don't know, just so gorgeous. But I'd have to cure that because this one is gel. This is the Miss Cheering one. But that's all for my review today. I just wanted to show you those couple things. Um, I hope you like them and thank you guys for watching I appreciate it as I always say and here is all our little swatches here's a couple and then
and of course this one which uh, that one was still wet this of course one is gel so and then I do want to show you one other thing this is actually I think for eyelashes but it's a little drier and you charge it but once it's charged it's you could do it like on the go and actually you could use it to like dry your nails or it's got a little stand on it and then it also has I think it's for your eyelashes is what it said a little eyelash dryer but um yeah you could use it for your nails or I just thought it was really cute to set up and just, you know, to dry your nails or whatever with it. Uh, so, I will put everything that I displayed here down below in the description box. And again, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And hope to see you again. Bye.